Hey guys, it's Brandon here with C Inside 360. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create a bigger hotspot button like this one right here, where you can click anywhere on it. You can see you can click anywhere on here, and it goes in the next scene. Here's how you do it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Equa Rectangular Image in Photoshop. Then we're going to go up to 3D, Spherical Panorama, New Panorama Layer from Selected Layers. That's going to turn our image into a 360. Now we're going to put this uh, bigger click, uh, click Now button right here on the door. So I've got my Click Here Now button. I'm going to drag it over onto the image. And I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale. And I'm going to make this a little bigger, like this. Put it right there on the door. Something like that. Hit enter to put it right there. That could be a little cleaner, but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, this is going to have to do. Then over here, I'm uh, going to have the layer 1 selected, and I'm going to hit Control E, or optionally, you could go to Layer, Merge Down. That's control E right there, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to merge this into the that layer with the control E selection. So now it's uh, it's part of the, the, the picture and it'll stay right there. I'm going to go over here to the spherical map uh, right there at the bottom of, of my elements and my layers. And then I'm going to double click on that. That's going to turn this back into an equirectangular image. Then I'm going to save that as... Then I'm going to uh, set it to JPEG and save it back in my folder. Maximum render. Okay. Now I'm going to go and open up Cloud Panel here where I got my tour. I want it to lead into here, so I'm going to add an image. I'm going to pick the 3A here, the one I just put with the bigger button. And I'm going to add that in. Okay, there we go. It's done loading. I'm going to rename it to nothing. Right? I'm going to rename this one to nothing. Right? Now we're going to go over here to this one here. And we got our button there. But now it's not clickable. But we want to make it clickable. So we're going to do... So now I'm going to go ahead and create a link hotspot. I'm going to put it way over here on the edge. You'll see why in a minute. And then I'm going to go over here and select a different hotspot. And now I'm going to upload a new hotspot because I created the new hotspots. So we're going to go in here to the cloud panel. And I'm going to I'm going to use the blank one I made. I made a blank one. Okay, I'm going to use that image right there. And then I'm going to link to this one right here. And now there's a blank hotspot there. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat this so that I can cover the whole box. Put another one right there with my blank hotspot linking to the same place. So now it doesn't matter if I click here or there. It's all going to go to the same place. I'm going to do this one more time right there. And you get the idea here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna cover up the whole area here, so it doesn't matter where you click on here. This is kind of a workaround, but it works for now until they update this feature. So now over there, and let's go ahead and put one more of them over here, kind of covering the hand. Put a blank hot spot there. And link it to there. So now it doesn't matter where you click at on here, you're going to get a button. Right? So now if we publish this tour, anywhere on here, we can click on this button anywhere, and it'll take us inside. That's how you make a bigger hotspot. <laughs>